Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here. Welcome to another episode of this, the Creator Club career mode in FIFA 20. Out of the first transfer window of this season and well underway with, look at this, a hectic, hectic month of football coming up. Both Premier League, Champions League, back-to-backs against Everton and the start of the Carabao Cup. I honestly have so many games to play. So many so, that honestly, I'm probably going to play maybe four, even I could squeeze in a fifth game. I have no idea. I just really want to get into the games in this episode. Here is how our team looks going uh, at least ahead toward the end of the year until the next transfer window. It looks ridiculous with Hunter Hunter at a 98 with Elliot at 88 and Kubo as well at 87. Kai Havertz we brought in in the previous episode and Alexander Arnold as well, which means Reese James now doesn't even have a spot in the starting 11, let alone even on the bench. That guy was definitely the biggest loser, unfortunately, in this transfer window. Um, yeah, I, I can't believe I've got an 88 rated player in my reserves. He's so well rounded though, and I'm thinking since he can play at CDM, that maybe I might find a way to, like, I don't know squeeze him somewhere into like onto the bench but really if I was to get rid of anyone on the bench and replace them with Reese James it would be Tom Davies the still captain but like I don't know I, I've obviously given the uh, I've given the armband to Mark Travis now after I thought Travis deserved the armband I put it to a vote with you guys and you all agreed pretty pretty heavily that Mark Travis deserves to be the new captain at least the, start, the guy with the armband when we walk out. When Davies does play, he will get the armband, okay? But it's like Mark Travis is the vice captain who is just the only one starting, so he's the one that gets it. That's that's my thinking there. But literally, if we were to compare Davies, I'd be playing him at centre midfield. So we'd be playing Reese James there instead. Reese James has nowhere near as good shooting, uh, about on par passing, dribbling, defending, the physicality is there, he's got better pace. Arguably is a better player, you know, to be playing in that position. We could maybe just work on his shooting a little bit. I don't know. I could actually, however, maybe do this. I've only just thought of it. I could maybe play Reese James here at that center defensive mid position on the right, keep Camavinga and Havertz, and I can keep J Davies on the bench and maybe uh, Adelaide can go down to the bench, and that would mean that, like, Lucas Paqueta would end up going down into the reserves instead. A guy that I literally just signed, 85 overall, is still pretty mad to be in the reserves though. But maybe we might, maybe we might roll with that. I don't know, I'm just kind of trying to show a bit of faith to a guy here, Reese James, who's been in the team for several seasons now. And, I, and he's 88 overall, and it's just like a madness that someone 85 rated or higher has to go into the reserves, basically. I don't know, all I know is I'm going to roll with this Normal starting 11 for this game against Spurs. Hopefully get the W. Maybe if we are leading by a good amount of goals, hopefully if we get that luxury in some game in the future, maybe I'll bring James on and see how he does at centre midfield. But anyway, uh, we'll see how we go in this game, trying to keep our 100% record in the Prem goal. Because we have had a magnificent start to the Premier League this season. We are on top of the table, wanting to stay on top if we can for the whole year. But we know just how insane it is in the Premier League with how incredible some of these teams are with victories and getting dubs, so we have to just be perfect. Spurs were a bit off the pace in the title hunt last year, but have given me some tough games in the past, so we'll see how we get on today. So Gardu playing that out of danger, and Havertz is off here. Don't know if he is the paciest of players, but he is getting away here. I've got a goal update for one other game I don't really care too much about at the moment. Oh, I'm still not going to get the look. Taki for Sakubo could be in here. And he will get the shot off on his left peg. We find a way to work it out. Havertz gets his first assist, quite possibly, in a Masters FC shirt, if I'm not aware already. He's got the goal, or at least here, Taki for Sakubo, to give us the lead. I was hoping to keep pushing it left, hope something would come about it, but no. In the end, Havertz put it perfectly for Kubo, with a defender draped on him, to his left side, to let him hit it, like, like, amazing, great stuff, nearly saved, but we got it in, Kubo is just picking up right where he left off as well, honestly, I'm loving having him back, slide from Zagadu, and he goes and gets it back again, but I'm just making tackle after tackle, and giving it straight back to him, where it keeps going straight back to him, I think I fucked up here massively, oh wow, they played it one more time, then they, one more time than they really needed to. Now I've done it, trying to move it to some fucking, oh my god, that was absolutely shit of me. 100% did not expect that pass to result in a turnover at all. I thought they would get to him so easily. I thought I had the space. I don't know what else to say. 
Oh, hello. Look at that. We can go and get it right back. No, we're not. Havertz off fucking target. Mate, come on. You slid in Kubo so brilliantly. Love for you to grab a goal, mate. But just awkward one for you, I guess. Too wide. And thankfully, they don't get a chance to break on the counter-attack. But fucking so annoyed to be down. Not down. It feels like I'm losing. Really. But, ugh. To be tied with the way that the game's gone. Whoa, my God! Alexander-Arnold, that is insane! I didn't buy him for that, but it's good to know he's got that in the locker. Jesus. Can't move forward at the moment. Kubo with a cheeky little back heel. Or a little slide, if you even want to call it that. Camavinga. Hunter. Oh, where's the fucking roulette man? You just... I'm not able to... It's not... He's not fucking doing the skill moves that I need him to, to get the space. Hunter. The spin from Adelaide. That's good. He's all over me, Sanchez. He's still all over me. Kubo. Oh my god, Sanchez is a fucking cheat code today. Finally. Maybe now. Oh my god, they get the fucking shoot, man. Just shoot. Uh, unconventional, but it'll work. Davies is in now with the defender coming and chasing him down. Surely he won't get there. In time. Saved by the keeper now. We're finally actually able to shoot, but it's still getting saved. Will there be a winner in this game? I'm going to try something in these last few minutes. Havertz and Adelaide are both coming off. I'm going to bring Ekone at center attacking midfield. And I am going to play Davies in center midfield. Get yourself a spot back in the team, mate. Do it. Maybe with Davies. A bomb from downtown. Oh my god. Is that a bit of rust? I don't know. But it's fucking just looking like it's impossible for us to get this second. Still Kubo. Ah, uh, still nothing to pass to. Davies on the right foot. Oh my god, man. He's had two chances now. Straight up into the fucking air. And then one right at the goalkeeper. Forget it. We had too many chances. Can we get this thing going forward? No. Oh, that is just the fucking most calamitous end to a game I've ever seen. Probably even had enough time to take the touch, settle, and shoot. Davies could not get that final goal to give us a 100% record right at the end. If he did, well, I might have started thinking about, oh, fuck, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I should put him back in the team. No, I'm not thinking that now. No, no way. Not when he had two chances at the end and he fluffed them both. Oh, my fucking God. Well, that's our 100% record. What a just joke, shitty fucking way to end that game. That is pathetic, the amount of chances we had. Not one of them could go in. And barely fucking 20% of them were on target. I'm, I'm, I'm not even, like, getting hyped up for the Champions League intro. I'm that fucking pissed off at how that game finished. Has that ever perfectly summed up a game or what? Left to room missed chances and it's a picture of Davies who had the fucking two, maybe not sitters, but that last one, definitely. Oh, God. We have an agreement, by the way, for Jan Valeri uh, from Napoli. 26 million. That was an, uh, a delegated offer that we, you know, sent back in the previous episode. He's a right back now that is just, like, even, like, not even a... He's never going to play a game for us ever again, or at least not very likely. Would have definitely liked a bit more than... 26 mil, but it's honestly one of those ones where I'm just ready to accept it. Now, this first game in the Champions League, honestly, I'm actually, because of the insane, insane month that we have, and away day to Shakhtar, I, I'm honestly going to sim the first game of the group league, but we will play the first Champions League, our first Champions League game of the day against Real Madrid. Because I still want to take the group seriously, I'm playing or simming this with my second team, hoping for a good result, not my second team, sorry, my first team, Getting the win, getting a goal for Adelaide, Havertz, and Hunter. Honestly, this whole stretch, you know, Everton away, maybe even the Carabao Cup, definitely the Carabao Cup, I might sim that. Now that I've, like, drawn a game, I feel like I don't kind of worry too much about simming games, but playing Manchester United, gonna play Real Madrid for sure, and then every other game, West Ham, and alright, you know, maybe we'll play the Everton game. Let's then play with this team. There are a few changes in it. We've got Lazaro starting the Ronaldo region. I will eventually stop calling him the Ronaldo region. We all know who he is now. But Lazaro at left wing over a pretty tired Elliot. So, uh, yeah. We have got Reese James starting a game at right centre midfield. We're going to see how he goes. Super well-rounded technical player. I, it's just his shooting that maybe he lacks in, and he probably will eventually find himself in some chances to score. So maybe I should work on it if I'm going to play him in this position going forward. But yeah, that they're really the only two spots that are being changed out. Everyone else is a little tired somewhat. Nothing crazy though, so hopefully still we can play pretty well with a fresh-ish team. We 
we're never going to win every single game of the Premier League. That was never going to happen, surely. But we are still undefeated this season. Something to still try to keep. If we can find a way to pull that off. Trent Alexander-Arnold was pretty damn good, I'll be honest. I say that only Kubo was the only guy doing his job in the last game. But no, I mean, Alexander-Arnold had his moments. God, he had like an acrobatic pass that was like insane. They have a very interesting midfield, Everton. Look at this. Digne's pushed up forward. All right, that's possible. Mbolo's moved to centre midfield. I swear he's like a striker. That is bizarre. And yeah, I guess my team looks a little bit different too. That back line is sick. My midfield with James in it will be different. And yeah, the uh, Ronaldo region, João Paulo Lazaro in starting the game today as well. Everton getting it kicked off. We are rocking our absolutely gorgeous away kits. Let's see how we go today. Oh my god, what the fucking world was that? We uh, had an absolute breakdown on defense there. And look, when we get this ball back, they press hard. But I... Oh, he's going to be onside here, Kubo. He's going to be onside. Go the whole way if you can, mate. This should be all yours. And it is! Kubo's getting it done for us today. He's scoring all the goals for us, it feels, right now when I'm playing. Only got the two, to be fair, this episode. But they've all been him. We absolutely timed that to perfection. And we know he's got pace and the ball at his feet. He is the Japanese Messi. Just perfectly slotting it past. I believe that is still Pickford. Let's bloody go, boys. Early start. That's exactly what we wanted. Davies has been pretty good from... Oh my god, that's going to miss fucking everybody. Have a go, Camavinga! Oh, wow, that was not bad in effort, but just wide. We've got Kubo running up forward again here. We're just going through him all the time right now. And that's going to be... Oh my god, he's in. He's in again. A little slide across. Oh my goodness me, he's onside. It's a tap-in for Hunter Hunter. Felt like the defender had Kubo covered, but he was able to just burst away. That's just, I don't know, look right here. The defender, just, I don't know whether he gave him the old hip and shoulder. Thought Hunter may have been offside. Somehow, we get a tap-in in the six-yard box. Open net, wow. Maybe we won't go riding him off just yet, but I guess it's good, really, to not rely on only just one player. It's been a team contribution so far. God, what a waste. What a turnover. Havertz. I'm going to run here. Riding the tackles. Going a long way. Kai Havertz. Oh, that's a great goal. Oh, Havertz, what a run. Just unchallenged by the defenders. And that is a big goal. Didn't do any fancy skill moves. None of that. I literally just ran to where the gap was in their defense. And just was, look at this. Running, running defenders on either side of him. And I just kept going, 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 going. And no one's just coming to cut him off. Easy. Oh, God, we got it back so quickly. I thought maybe we could add a shout for a fourth. But no, 3-0 going in a half time. Got to hold, got to hold on to this. Good block from Davies. Elliot with the knock on forward. Now, can we figure this one out? Hopefully we will. I don't think we will. No, we're not. Fucking hell. Oh, Christ. All right, at least we're sort of in here. Elliot might have a chance. Near post. We could go near post. Oh, smashed in top corner. 4-0. And the former Evertonian, or should I say the former Liverpool man, scores against Everton. Four goals now in less than an hour. Gosh, where was this in the game against Spurs? Oh, good touch. Hunter, is he away here? The dink. Oh, the dink. You tried it, John Joe Kenny. Didn't work out for you, though, did it, son? There's another goal for Hunter. Oh, man. It is turning into an absolute riot, I tell you what. Uh, yep, that is a goal, but we knew that pretty comfortably. It goes over by a lot more in a few seconds. From a tough, frustrating finish in a 1-1 draw against Spurs to a 5-0 demolition. My goodness. Oh, he's gone for a curl! Oh, my God, I thought we were going to lose that clean sheet. Travers with a big save. You know what I'm going to do too? Going to bring on the big man Hoekstra as well. My new centre back. Uh, my Dutch Youth Academy centre back. Just, you know, give him a bit of a run to give Dan Axel Zagar to a much needed break. And we're immediately going to get him on the ball. Oh, what a pass. He's so good. Ah, went reaching for it, but that was a really well placed ball. We do concede one. Disappointing, frustrating that we lose a clean sheet, but ultimately won't change the result though, will it? And that will be a game set match. We'll just get Travis to put this thing field or downfield and then the referee should pretty much kill it whenever he's ready. Done. Thank you. 5-1. Great result. Unfortunate little blemish toward the end, but who cares? Three points and a big, big win. Back to our dominant ways. Well, in that case then, our next game coming up against Everton will be in the Carabao Cup. I'll sim it with the second team, play the following game against United, then the game after that. 
Real Madrid. Looks like, oh, by the way, in the previous episode, yes, Ryan Lynn McGreed, we got a ridiculous offer from Real Sociedad for him. That's been accepted. So now I feel a lot more inclined to try to get Reese James as involved in the midfield as possible, especially with us maybe potentially losing Isaac Kelly. I might try to find a way to fix that up with contract issues and the release, release clause and whatnot, but still though. Switching over to the second team for this game, and even that team is pretty damn strong. A second team featuring Ikone, Paqueta, Lazaro, and all these others. Can we get the result? Yo, can we get the result? Yeah, we do, thankfully. They had an injury to their goalkeeper and to a striker, Sorloff. And we get a 1-0 victory. They missed a penalty. Man, Everton had a shocker. Yeah, Valeri has also been sold. You know, we're selling a lot of, like, players like McGree, Valeri, that are, like, 80, 81 overall, that are good, but just nowhere near... Um, bad enough to just justify being sat in the reserves for their whole career. Like, no, it, it's a disgrace. So if I don't have a spot for them, at least on my bench, and they're above an 80 rating, I should really look to move them on. Just for realism and also just for the sake of it. I will make some exceptions. And obviously players like Bradley Hill, lower rated players that are 20 years of age, not going anywhere. Yeah, I'll just accept those to get them out. And for this game against Manchester United, we're going to make uh, minor changes to the team. Just... With the fact that the game against Real Madrid is about three days after this, I kind of want to be mindful of that. I want to make early subs, rest as many starting on players as I can. Still fielding a very strong team. Front three is unchanged. Back line is pretty much unchanged. Davies is back and Reese James is back. And, and don't worry, I will sort out Davies with the captain's armband before we get out there. Because as I mentioned, Davies is still the captain. Travis is just the vice captain that takes the armband out in the absence of Tom Davies. Davies back with the armband, lovely to see. United, a team that I think we failed to take down last season. And I think that obviously went a big way in them becoming the champions of last season, as you can see by those gold badges. Hopefully we might be able to get those gold badges for next season, if possible. Who knows? We're off and running. Oh, look at Kubo just jump over his man, and we are off here. Williams is going to chase back. If that is indeed Nico Williams or Nico Williams. Oh my god, that's a super heavy touch. Dean Henderson comes out and gets it. Ran all that way for nothing. Oh wow, that's overcommitted from Lindelof. Hunter, Hunter, bang! Oh, that's powerful. Thought Lindelof might have been able to block it, but no. Big, powerful hit. The turn, the spin. Left peg on his non-preferred. Defenders coming from all directions. Still gets it off and beats Hendo. What a hit this is. Look at that. Magnificent. He has got his form now. I'm telling you. Five in the Premier League in about eight or seven or eight games. We're doing all right with him now. They're just keeping the ball right now. Fuck, it's halftime already? My goodness me. Can't believe how quickly it's gone. I've just been off the ball for so long. Head this away, Davies. I'll happily take... I don't even care if I get it. If I don't get a counter-attack in. Actually, no, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Hunter, go. Defenders all on him. Trying to outpace him if possible. The stop and turn. The defender is still there. Surely he won't get a shot off after all that. No, they just don't get no space. Fucking hell. Um, wow, They're, it feels like at times I should just be able to burn them, but they stay with me. They just, I don't know, some fucking roids that they pumped into their defenders. I swear, they've got the pace attribute stat or some shit, but right now it's only a one goal lead. I, I don't know, I'm hoping to extend that though, I think I need to. Uh, oh wow, I thought it was done there. Big save, Travis, massive save. Absolutely huge. I thought I would... That was really well worked, and I slid across Zagadu, and nah, if that was better put away, I'm I'm done. It would have been 1-1, man. It would have been. Nice. Davies. Oh, go Davies. Could go a long way. Good ball in there. Low cross. Oh, rebound. Davies has got it in. There it is. Alfonso Davies with the second. Look at that. I thought, oh, I'll tell you what, Henderson's done brilliantly to stop that second effort. How Davies gets that past the defender? Does it go through the legs of Neves? It must. It must. It does. It almost hit Hunter. How that gets through, I don't know. Davies, you lucky boy. But that is the all-important goal. Davies does venture forward a lot for a fullback. I love him to death. He is an amazing left-back for me. He has proven that. He can get goals for me. Oh, man. He's been, a, he's been a gem. And he got the fortune there to put us up two. Now, with us being up by two, I feel a little bit better about giving Hunter that break. Lazaro can start, can now go at striker. This does not happen a lot. So, you know, just, you know, drink it in, really. Because Hunter, Hunter getting substituted almost never happens. 
Good little spin. Davies. Oh, turns it around. Ball in there. He's gone a long way forward here. Oh, Reese James with a rare goal. This could maybe be his first ever goal for Masters FC. I don't know. No, I think he's got one or two before. But it's a rare one for him at centre mid forward. Getting on through. We know he doesn't have the best finishing stats. But just about gets it away from the keeper. That goal should seal it. Oh my god, it's actually gone under his foot there. Maybe that's quite lucky too. But that's his first of the year, first of the season. Reese James with, gosh, one of a very rare amount of goals for him. We are taking it to the champions, and when we're doing it like this, you've got to wonder, why not? Why can't it be our year with this? Now it's Taki Fusakubo. Oh, the skills. Kubo, no way had that gone in. That would have been absolutely unbelievable. Lazaro, we're just working it around right now. Is there a final goal on here? Lazaro, oh, ball just put a little too far forward ahead of him. 3-0 victory over the current Premier League champions on our own turf. We maybe not completely dismantle them, but we do a damn good job of giving them one four. This is a huge win for me. I think this really shows. I mean, a draw against Spurs wasn't great, but we're still undefeated. We've gotten big wins against top six teams, quite a fair few of them. We're looking good this season. Top of the table still. Why not this year? I think we're showing that we are the favourites for it this year. At this stage though, despite how brilliantly I feel I've been doing, look, 21 goals for, only two against. We still have competition. Chelsea are right there. Man City are only two points away, as are Arsenal. Beating Manchester United went a long way, for sure it did. Spurs getting a win against them would have really done good as well to be double-digit points away from them too, but... At this stage, there are still a few teams that are there uh, after only seven games, yeah, sure. But my God, to have, you know, 20 out of 21 points, 19, and still have a team tied with me and only two others, two away. It's just this league. It's just ridiculous. We have to be this good for the whole season, completely consistently this good to have any chance of winning the title. It's another batshit level of insanity right here, but we take a press conference for this Champions League game with it being a huge one. Just for the fact alone that it's against Real Madrid, this will be insane. Davies is going okay. I suppose he is doing all right, but rotation is key. I have a lot of players I need to give game time to. I mean, let's remember Lucas Paqueta, who I signed in the previous transfer window, or that came in this season. And I, you know, he's basically become a reserve player. We've just got to rotate as much as possible. We'll have to stay focused if we want to try to get another win. Yes, for sure. But I think with how we're, with how we're doing, I think we can beat any team in the world on our day. And can Real Madrid win? Nah, there's a good chance that we'll win. I think there really is a good chance. Reasonably good, um, I've got to say, uh, rotation of players and everything. Because the team's looking very, very fresh. We're only making one change. Davies goes back into the midfield. Uh, Jeff Adelaide's pretty tired. In fact, he's not even going to be on the bench. We're going to have Lucas uh, Perqueta, or Perqueta, Perqueta, however you do pronounce it. He will be on the bench. So we could maybe sub him in at some point. Kubo returning to face his old team. That'll be interesting. And I wonder if once Real Madrid get a look at Hunter Hunter in action, uh, if they'll just be like, fuck, we need to get this guy. God, who knows? But this will be a big, big game, just alone for the fact that it is against Real Madrid. Bring it on. The Champions League returns, ladies and gentlemen, back to the TNB Arena, RB Masters, Real Madrid. Oh my goodness. When we play at the Bernabeu, that's what's going to be bloody just, you know, a little bit surreal. But just seeing this glorious stadium in all of its beauty on Champions League nights, facing Real Madrid, man. Look, you just, I like to think back to where we started, you know, when we were in League One, now look where we are. Shout out to all of you who started on Day Dot and kept going with this career mode because look at where we are now. Look at where we, look at what we have reached now together. You've all been part of the journey. This right here, this is our club. This is our team and we are going to look to take down Real Madrid in the Champions League. These guys were almost like the team that we modelled our whole look on, or almost at least at the start with the white and gold when we voted for you know, creating the kits and everything. Odegaard with the armband has certainly come a long way for sure. Now, Real Madrid's team. They've got Depay, Dombele, Robertson, I noticed. Vinicius Jr. and Junior Brandt. Neymar is on the bench for them, as long with Ericsson and some others. Their midfield's pretty all right. Front three is interesting with Dembele, Depay, and all right. Back line looks interesting too as well. Courtois in goal. They've just got so many stars. Like, But for Neymar to be on the bench, I guess he must be getting a bit on, so maybe he isn't as highly rated anymore. But 
Oh boy, Real Madrid, let's go. I couldn't cut it off. Great save, rebound, and Dembele has scored. The fucking little boy from Celtic, isn't he? Oh my god, that's grown up and gone around Madrid now. Didn't waste long. I'm trying so desperately to stay in the way with Dan Axe as a guard. Great save there from Travers and oh, Kerr was there too, but couldn't block it. Oh my god, we're fucking having a horrid start right now. I can't believe this. I can't lay a fucking tackle. Oh, I just can't lay a fucking tackle. I'm bringing sliding defenders out so much. This time it goes through to Travers legs. Like, I'm not getting... Oh, my God. Fucking anything to work on me defensively. This is turning into a shit fucking star. Wake the fuck up, guys. Takifusu Kubo, not Zagadu. Instead, we're going to slip in. That could be a great ball. He's offside anyway. Courtois still saved it. My God. Out wide. Kubo's offside. You just... Simple shit right now. We're wasting fucking time, honestly. And I bet he's going to be offside again. Fucking, oh my god! Just hold it, man! Desperate. Volley. Wide! My god! Are we fucking just able to do anything in this half? Very important we get one, at least. Hunt, Ellie. Oh my god. I'm going to look at the stats, because it's... It's got to be fucking close to double digits, really. It's fucking putrid finishing again. Regardless, it's still not good enough. You saw it for yourself. I've got to tune it up. Oh my god! Are you now taking the piss here? With Courtois making a great save like that now. That is away from him. That fucking hell. We're going to have some support. If not, we go the whole way. Bang. Wide again! Oh my fucking god! I've honestly had it up to fucking here. I'm about to set a record. I thought the end to the Spurs game was bad. This is so much worse. Davies, go on, charge at him. Charge at him, Davies. Oh, hello. Get it in. The Quetz has just come on. There it is! Finally the fucking first goal of the day. And it's the substitute who's been sitting in the reserves for ages. Davies goes on a run, sets up Lucas Paqueta, bang into the top corner. Come on. We have seven minutes to grab something. I tell you what, when I need a goal, Lucas Paqueta is fucking turning into the guy. No, oh, Hunter. Fucking... He, oh, my God. It's gotten away from him here. We're going to run out of fucking time. I know we will. Is this too far back? Hopefully not. Ball in here. Paqueta. Taki for Sakubo. Backstick! Yes! Come on! Great assist! Hunter, Hunter, 2-2, two, two, we go and grab a point against Real Madrid in the dying seconds. We stay undefeated in this bitch. Let's go, still no L's for the whole season. We fight right to the end. Never quitting, never giving up, a tap in, Courtois can't stop it. There was a chance that that, that referee, when I played it back to someone that was a little further back out from the box, I think it was Reese James, he could have caught it up there, he didn't. He let us keep going, and it results in a huge result here, a huge change. Oh, it could have been 2-1, we could have got nothing, we're getting a point, and we're stopping Real Madrid from going ahead by at least another three or whatever. That's a, that's a good, good result in the end, I'm going to take that. Come on! Let's go. Still haven't lost a single game all season. You love to see it. So let's bloody go, boys. That's what I'm talking about. Not great training results, but who cares? I'm riding the wave. Moving on to the next game away against West Ham. We'll sim this one as well. Maybe leave it with the next game coming up, but what will the result be? Are we still undefeated after this game as well? Gonna skip. No, that's it. It's done. And look who started in goal and subsequently got injured. It was none other than Ryan Schofield, who we sold only like 72, 73 overall, but starting for West Ham in goal. But they got a 2-1 win. Akone got a goal for us. Can't fucking believe this shit. And look at this shit, man. You lose one fucking game, and you drop to fourth after eight. Oh, just don't get a single chance to fucking fuck up. You don't. It is stupid. It is brutally savage how good... The top six are. Or at least most of them anyway. I don't know. One more game against Fulham. Alright, maybe I'll sit in this one too. Just because it's more of a home game and I feel like I'd rate my chances. Please. Not two losses on the bounce. Not at home. Not against Fulham. Yeah, thank you. Alexander-Arnold with two. Adelaide got a goal and Lazaro off the bench got a goal.
Okay, boys, that's much better. Get in. We'll leave it with this game against uh, uh, Sporting, I reckon. That will be the first game in the next episode. And at the moment, we have a very, very healthy mix of goal scorers and assisters right now. Like, seriously, Hunter Hunter's still doing bits, of course. Adelaide is still doing great, even playing at centre midfield, getting numbers. Havertz is doing fine, four goals, six assists. He's played two appearances more, but basically about the same numbers as Adelaide. And then you've got Paqueta with four Paqueta, four goals from seven appearances, mostly off of the bench. You'll take that. Kubo's doing all right too. Um, Harvey Elliott, I guess, maybe doesn't exactly have the numbers I would have expected. In fact, he's tied with goals and assists for Davies at left back. I... Anyway, it's not. I'm happily moving forward a lot more with Alfonso Davies, so he's getting more opportunity. But still, though, either way, man, um, yeah, it's just beautiful to see. It's just such a. It's spread about, and for there to be so many goal scorers already at this point in the season. I will happily leave it here, though, people. We currently occupy second in the table or in the group of the Champions League. Hopefully, we will blow ourselves away from Shakhtar Donetsk and Sporting in this game if we can get the win. Hopefully get back up on top of the Premier League if possible. But I don't know if these fucking top teams are going to give up points at any point. Whatever. Regardless, we'll leave it here. Thank you all for watching. Till the next Masters FC RB Masters career mode episode. Have a good one. Catch you all later. Yeah, what am I trying to say? Bye. <laughs> See ya.